What's going on guys, Noah from Kick the Bass TV here with another video. I don't know why I'm holding that rod in my hand. Um, this is Tackle Tuesday, number 12, getting in the double digits, getting up there, number 12. Double number 6. I mean, Tackle Tuesday is going pretty quick, guys. It's crazy. Um, so what am I talking about today? Today is over Wobbleheads. A lot of you guys have been wondering just general information about the Wobblehead. What is the Wobblehead? I mean, you guys hear me talking about it a lot. You hear me fishing it a lot. You hear me smacking good fish on it. You see me reposting people's pictures of them catching it, catching bass on my Wobblehead. And if you guys don't know, I, I'm ta I make the Wobblehead, um, or the Kick of the Rest Baits Wobblehead. There are other companies out there that make a Wobblehead, but there really aren't too many, to be completely honest with you. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it on my page and everything, so I'm pretty much gonna show you some ways I rig it. Um, sizes I have, colors I have, and everything, and, the, and how you can order it. So starting off, um, how would I rig it? What would I rig it with? Um, honestly, not too many options. That, that I mean, there's plenty of options. And don't get me wrong, there's plenty of options. There's plenty of ways to rig it. Um, but honestly, I keep it really simple, guys. Um, mostly a rage tail, and then a little Berkeley grub. That, that's as simple as I keep it. Um, I, I don't go too fancy with it. Um, as you can tell, I'm putting on a rage tail right now. Really, really, really great bait for this wall. It is, it's like it matches perfectly. It's pretty amazing. Like it, it just fits perfect. And there's different ways to work this. Work this bait. There you go, man. There's a wall head right there. As you can tell, the, it's free. Like if I pull this up a little bit. It's free. It's, it can freely spin really good around rock and, and honestly if I ever get this thing hooked up like even in trees I can usually get it out fairly easy as long as you don't just hook set it really hard into a tree um, I can usually wiggle it out of the tree and it's not too bad so um, here's a couple examples I got this one with a little Berkeley grub on it um, just a little twin tail grub that one's really great and then I have this one with the rage tail just depending on the day guys you can say, oh, the rage tail has more action, but some days you don't want all that action. Some days they may be a little finicky and you don't want that. Um, so the colors that I sell are brown, green pumpkin, and black. That's that's the three colors that I have. You can get them half, three fourths, um, one fourth, pretty much whatever size you want. I honestly tend to stick to one half and three fourth. Honestly, I like three fourth. I can get that bait out there. Um, I really feel comfortable with it. So where where do I fish the wallwood? Mostly around rock. I can fish it in brush. Anywhere, pretty much anywhere you would fish a jig. Put it put it that way. It's as simple as it gets. And I was out fishing with one of my buddies the other day, and, I, and he was like, "You don't have a jig tile?" I'm like, "No, I got wallwood." He's like, "Why don't you have a jig?" I'm like, "Man, I haven't fished a jig in four or five months, and I, I'm really not kidding with you. Um, the last time I fished a jig was probably the high school Bassmaster Classic." And that was during practice. I, I the, during the tournament, I caught it on the wobblehead, some fish on the wobblehead. But I mean, from there on, I pretty much been fishing a wobblehead. I mean, I had a jig tied on my pole. Um, it's just crazy, guys. I, I really fell in love with it, and it's so different. You can work it many different ways. Like a jig, you're mostly wanting to stay on the bottom. Um, wobblehead, you can work it so many ways. You can work it fast. You can work it slow. You can work it reeling it you can swim it it's just so so many different things you can do with the wall blood that really you can just whack some good fish on and i'm not saying this because i make the bait guys i'm, I'm really saying this because i really believe in this wall blood 100 percent. and if you guys have seen some of the fish i've caught on it and seen how many times i throw it i just really believe in it 100 percent. i honestly never pick up a shaky head or a jig i, I just fish the wall blood. i just it's, it's my confidence i have so much confidence in the bait and that's another big thing. If you you gotta have confidence in your bait. It's it's not something. Say you never caught a fish on a shaky head, and you go out there and you have zero confidence. You're just sitting there. You're kind of pulling out your phone. You're looking at your phone. You're just kind of you're not gonna catch a fish. It's not gonna happen. You need to have confidence. So find that confidence bait. And um, mine is the wobblehead, guys. I mean, I just done really good with it. So um, those are two pretty much two of the ways I rig it. There's also another way. Um, here, I'll show you on the new wobble head. Now, I also have packaging for these guys. So just these, I don't have all packaged up. These are just personal ones I made for myself. This grub right here is called a menace. And what is a menace? Menace is also by Strike King, similar to the Rage Tail, very similar. 
And what I do with the menace, I mostly swim it. So if I'm wanting to swim, as you can tell, it's just two little split tails right there. It has a lot of action. If I'm wanting to swim the wobblehead, I'll throw a menace on. If I'm wanting to work it more like a grub, more like a crawl, more on the bottom, I will fish a rage tail. I'll fish that little Berkeley crawl, and that all depends. Rage tail fish are really active. They they love that, but sometimes they're really finicky guys, and you may want to switch to like a beaver, um, something with a little less action, like a beaver, um, one of those twin tail grubs, just. Um, basic baits that aren't gonna have too much action, but the rage tail I really love. I really like everything about it. But yeah, if I'm swimming it, definitely the menace. How would I swim it? I would throw it out there, get a good long cast, that synchro run up a Garcia reel. Just playing with the guy. Get a good long cast out there. Um, let the bait. Eat. I mean, you can. You you don't have to let it hit the bottom. You can let it. Um, you just right when it hits the surface, kind of just hop it back to you um, in the water column depending on where the fish are at. So you look at your graph there in the middle water column. You count your bait down five seconds, click your reel, start working it back. Or you can move it on the bottom. Um, I'll throw this out on the bottom, and I'll just be hopping, hopping it on the bottom, stroking it, you know, people love to stroke the jigs and stuff. Or you can just straight reel it and hop it, kind of like a fish head. Really great, I'm telling you, I, I really haven't found a way that I can't work this. Most, like, you can work it just running it straight on the bottom and just hopping it every once in a while, like, a fish head or something and they'll just tear it up as well just depending on how active the fish are and like if you that's that's the thing with this you can cover water with it most of the time what i do this is a very good tip and i don't want you to skip ahead or anything i want you to listen to this tip cover water with it figure out where the fish are at say i'm pre-fishing for a tournament and i'm trying to figure out where the fish are located so i pull up to this point there's rock there's trees I just don't know where the fish are located. I don't know if they're on that rock better, if I don't know if they're on that brush better, on those trees better. So, make a good cast out there. And I'm working it back fairly fast. I'm just kind of reeling it on the bottom, working it back, coming it back to me. Working it fairly fast, you know? Another cast. Two, 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 working it back. Another cast over here. Say I start to fill some rock. Oh, I'm filling some rock. Doop, get a bite. Hooks up the fish, get the fish in the boat. Then, you go back once you get that fish off the hook. Think to yourself, what was I doing? All right, I found some rock right there. Those fish were on that rock. Then you can go back through with that bait. You can cast that bait out there. You, as long as you find those productive spots of the rock, and you can work it slower if those fish are wanting it slower. But just figure out what those fish are wanting, you know? But who knows, that may not be the case. Those fish may be wanting that bait to be worked a little bit faster. They may, may want that aggressive bite, you know? I mean, it just all depends on the day. That's, some days they may want it on the bottom really, really slow. Some days they may want it really fast. It just all depends, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and jump, and jump into the rod and reel setup. <clears throat> um, pretty much basic with all my rod and reel setups. Medium heavy power rod, fast action tip. Um, that's just what I like on a Legend Extreme rod. Really great rod, I love the rod. Um, but any medium heavy power rod, you can even go up to heavy, just depending on how deep you're fishing for the most part penetrating the hook into the fish. Um, the reel is a Revo MGX, 7 one to one gear ratio reel, and the line I'm using is 15 pound fluorocarbon. Um, I really wouldn't go below this. I mean, you can go to 12, but I would not go below 12. I would not go to 10 or eight. It's just not me. I would like to have more confidence in um, knowing I'm not gonna break a fish off. So, 15 pounds really good. So stick to that. Um, but yeah, guys, my favorite reed shell color so far, I mostly like a green pumpkin. Um, kicking their bass baits wobble head with a mostly in like three four ounces so I can get that good long cast out with a summer crawl ridge tail um, which is pretty much like the green pumpkin ridge tail and it has some chartreuse on the belly and on the back um, that's that's pretty much my favorite color there's also this um, black color I can't think of the name of it and it has some red flakes in it it's really great as well I'm um, just depending on the water clarity water darkness dirtiness of the water so I hope you guys got some good tips. A lot of you guys were wanting to know about a wobble head. So hopefully you guys, you guys have learned a little bit more information. I said guys about five times in one sentence. That's pretty bad. But hopefully you all have learned some good things about the wobble head. Um, and definitely go check them out, guys. You can go check them out on my site. I will leave the link below. And if you guys catch some fish on it, 
and you can show them the picture, you can be holding the package up or whatever you want to do, be creative with it. Or if you're wearing a Kick in the Grass TV hat, um, send in your pictures. I will repost them on Instagram. As you know, you guys see me post a lot of pictures of people with wobbleheads and stuff because they've been killing them on it um, or my chatterbaits or anything that I make. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and give the video a thumbs up. It really supports the channel, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Your boy Noah. Out.